Cheap Tuesdays at the car wash. Maybe take a break. I've been at it for all of three minutes, I think. Rightio, here she is. Gave it a little bit of a well, semi tidy up for you lot, but um, you know, she never looks fully clean these days. Uh, so, anyway, we'll start at the front. Um, AOB bar, as far as light's concerned, I just simply went with the King's 7 inch laser lights, which are more than ample and um, wired up correctly, do just fine. Uh, you'll notice I've got these little spreader lights on the side and I've also got on the um, bonnet here some cow lights. So under the bonnet, apart from it looking nice and dusty at the moment, you'll notice I've got a ProVent catch can. Down low you'll notice I've got the Red Arc solenoid there, that actually runs a 50 amp to the back to power the trailer and just up top here you've got King's um, isolator that goes for the dual battery system. Underneath the car you notice I've got a set of, uh, actually got a full set of booze bash plates. That's from the um, intercooler, the sump guard, transfer case, transmission, fuel tank, and also the rear guard as well. Decided to go with um, Old Man Emu on this build. Um, they use King Springs, which, Jesus, just about everybody uses King Springs. So far, no complaints with them whatsoever. So obviously we've got a Safari Sorkle. Down low here you'll notice we've got the uh, KMC XD Series grenade wheels in bronze, wrapped in Yoki's uh, G003s. Keep it on the side here, we've got the Bushkin's uh, rock sliders. I did have those colour coded in like a bronze to try and match up the wheels. On the back here you'll notice that I've got the spacer between the cover and the body inside the car. Uh, we've got a little uh, iDrive unit here. Got some pillar pods over here, which I'm just going to be putting in a couple of gauges. Obviously, EGT is going to be one. At the top of the windscreen here, I've got my VMS unit. Um, that's really handy, actually, when we're off-road and looking for tracks. What you find next will be the switch panel I had made up from Nordia Engineering. Yeah, you'll see that I've got the UHF on the left. I've got my left and right. Um, Side lights, got my rear lights, light bar and driving lights. Also on the right there, I've got my tire pressure monitoring system. Um, you'll notice I've got the X, XRS UHF there, which is fantastic. And I've also got Vlad's traction control mod, uh, the patch loom there. Yeah, so in the back, um, pretty simple setup. I built this system myself. Under the floor where the third row seats would usually sit or get tucked away or folded away i've put a 55 litre water tank another thing i've got in the back here is my compressor just my recovery bag but everything i need is in here and i mean literally every tool that i need to be off-road is in this thing another one from nordia was my switch panel compressors hardwired in so all i have to do is press the on off switch there no dramas at all water water tank or the water pump just turn that on there you see that that's going on and um, right now if I was to turn that thing around we'd have water pissing out the car and last but not least on the back door put on a stainless drop uh, bench top you know drop down um, what do you want to call it works pretty damn good fits our cooktop on there perfectly cooking is an absolute treat and we've got a little spotlight that we connect up to the top there this little magnet light and see whatever you're doing. It's bloody awesome. Righto, so what's next? We've got the roof rack to put on, we've got a 
wire up all the lights that are going to sit on top of there. That's the left and right work lights, the rear work lights, and the light bar which got sitting just up the top there somewhere. Got my shovel holder, you know, I've got the uh, awning to put on as well, which that'll go on, I guess, in a better week's time as well. Just thought I'd put this on the uh, the tube just so everyone can see it. I have uploaded a few videos to a couple of pages, um, even the Pajero page, which uh, has been a pretty cool page. You do get a run with their own opinion, which is fine. Um, I like to give you know credit where credit's due to all the members of every page that I'm a, a, a part of, and um, every build's different. You know, you, you you build a car to suit your needs, and this one definitely suits our needs. It's exactly what we need to uh, to get off road, to go touring. Um, if we want to tackle some of the harder stuff, we can uh, comfortably and knowing that we can get ourselves out of a situation if we get stuck. Um, you know, so look, I've enjoyed this build. It's now my third Pajero build, believe it or not. Why the fuck I keep spending money on Pajeros and um, you know, I don't know, I love the car, they drive so nice on the road. But anyway, so thanks for watching, and I will be, I guess the next video will be our trip down south. We're gonna head down to Sandon River, New South Wales, just short of Brunswick Heads, we're gonna head down there, and then do a slow trip back up. I think we're gonna even stop past either Fraser Island or maybe even Bribey, um, do some beach camping there. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming, and I hope you guys want to check it out. Um, drop a like on the uh, on the video and subscribe, guys. Like, get involved, get behind the channel. Uh, this is my first time I've decided to you know put all this stuff out there for people to watch. Um, if you like it, you know, give us a follow, subscribe, and uh, keep up to date with what's going to happen or what what videos we're going to be shooting in the future. Um, time and effort goes into editing these things to, to make it look good for you guys. If you think there's shit, tell me. If you think there's uh, things I can do better, tell me. Because uh, I am learning I, and uh, I'm learning as I go. But anyway, hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next time.